Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new. You can probably tell that October and Halloween are my favorite time of the year because I'm here yet again with another haul. This is gonna be a little bit spooky but I have a lot of variety for you guys. I'm doing a collaboration with a brand called Belle Pogue. They are famous for their vintage inspired retro period clothes but they also have some goth and Halloweenish things on their store and they let me pick a bunch of things to show you guys and review, tell you what I think about them. So I tried to pick a little bit of everything that you could see how far right their selection is and I made a slightly spooky, vampy, romantic haul for you guys, so let's start with it. By the way, before I forget, they gave me a discount code for you guys which is BPVESMADINIA20 to get 20% off on their store and it's valid until the end of the year. So if there is anything from this haul or from their store that you like, don't forget to use it because you will get it even cheaper. The first thing that caught my eye was this corset. I have it here and it looks really nice, really cute. I like the fabric and especially the trim in here. But I need to pick a skirt to show you a full outfit and for that I went with this one that I have here. So give me a second and I'll be right back. Here's me with the outfit on and I've got to say it looks really beautiful and the quality looks really really good. The only problem is that they don't have my size. The smallest size they offer is a size small which unfortunately is way too big for me but still I think this looks really really beautiful even if it's not a perfect fit. I know they have some things that would have probably fit me better but I wanted to pick things that I knew you guys would like because I know their quality is really good as I have tried things from them in the past and their prices are quite affordable so I really wanted you guys to know about this brand because I think it's really hard sometimes to find romantic goth or vampire goth outfits that aren't super expensive so I thought it was worth showing you this, even if I was aware from the size chart that it would be a little bit big on me, but I don't think it's so, so big that I cannot wear it. By the way, the corset comes with a matching thong that I'm not gonna try on, of course, but just so you know. It closes with a metal basque on the front, it has this ribbon in here, and then it has this lacing on the back. And it also comes with a modesty panel, but since I've closed it completely, you cannot really see it. But just in case you were wondering, it does have a modesty panel. As I mentioned before, the quality looks really nice. So far, all the things I've gotten from this brand were really high quality and really good. My only problem with them is that they refuse to make an extra small for some reason. And there are things from them that I cannot get. This I knew would be a little bit bad, but I didn't mind because I know it would look amazing with this skirt. And I wanted to try on this outfit for you guys. Now let's talk about this skirt. That's why I'm wearing it like this. It is a little bit big for me in here, of course, following their size chart, I already knew, but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna wear it with something on top of it, like a corset. The waistband is super stretchy, as you can probably see right now, which is something great because it can accommodate lots of different sizes and you don't have to worry so much about getting a perfect fit. Now my favorite thing about it is that it has like this thing, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but you can make it a little bit shorter on the front. I know I've shown you quite a few things like that and this is one of my favorite things for clothes. Now my only issue is that you can only do that with the top layer of the skirt but not with the bottom layer. But even without doing that I think the skirt is gorgeous because it has all of these trim details both on this layer and on the other one. So when you make this one shorter it shows everything and it looks really really amazing. So basically even if I knew this wasn't going to be a perfect fit for me, I was so in love with this skirt that I didn't really mind. And again, it's so easy to throw on a smaller corset on top of it that I really don't mind. This skirt is one of the most beautiful things ever. And as I said before, their quality is really good and their prices are quite affordable. So this is one of my favorite things I've gotten lately. Moving along, they have some Halloween themed items and I picked this one. I have the dress here and although I'm not the biggest fan of prints or graphic stuff, Suddenly Halloween comes around and I completely change my mind because I'm a sucker for Halloween prints. So I really like this one and I also love the mesh part on top. I know already that it's going to be a tiny bit big on me but let's put this on and let's see what we think about it. Okay, here's the dress. What do you think? It's really lovely. The fabric is super soft. I, I love how it feels. Like soft and like nice to the touch. The lace is not itchy at all because I know it can happen sometimes and 
I'm not experiencing any discomfort at all. And my favorite thing, which is, I know it's a tiny detail, are these hard buttons, which I think are so cute. I didn't notice when I ordered this one, so when I saw it in real life, it was like a nice touch. Now, again, this is not my size. Unfortunately, they refused to make smaller sizes because I know I contacted them quite a while ago and I said, would you ever make an extra small or an extra extra small? But so far, they are not planning to include smaller sizes, unfortunately, for us small girls. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna show you like what it is now. It's like really big around the waist. I'm pretty sure this design is meant to be more or less tight in this area and then a little bit more flowy at the bottom. I'm just saying this in case you were a similar size and you're wondering what it would look like on you or you want something as reference. But thankfully we have belts or in my case these two chokers that I put together. So we're gonna fix this in a second. It looks so so much better and as you saw it took a second. By the way, if you're struggling finding belts that fit you because I personally have a problem, at least if I want to wear them on my waist, just grab two chokers. It looks really cute. I know it's not the most common thing but I'm a big fan and this is my all-time favorite belt. So now let me actually show you what this should look like. I find the dress a little bit too long for my taste but I know this is part of the retro vibe that they are going for and I know a lot of people love this look. Since I'm very short I personally try to go either maxi skirt or mini skirt because I think those things make my legs look a little longer but I don't know why I'm not sure if it's because it's high-waisted or because it's a little bit big for me or just because of the design. I think this one doesn't make me look too short which is the main reason why I bought this length. So I'm quite surprised in a positive way and I really love this look. Now, although I know it's not my size, the dress is really comfortable both in terms of how it fits, how it sits on my body even if it's a little bit big, and the fabric itself. Uh, the fabric is amazing, I think it looks really nice and feels really nice. It doesn't look cheap at all in real life because that's one of my main concerns when I get Halloween prints or Halloween fabrics. Sometimes they look too shiny and too costumey. I don't get this vibe from this one at all, it's more matte. Also, because it closes with a zipper here, it's really easy to put on and take off because I know sometimes when things are like lacy on top, they're just stretchy and I absolutely hate that, especially because I often wear wigs. So yeah, you won't have a problem with that. It opens at the back and the zipper goes almost all the way back. So you won't have a problem with it. Now let's try on something that I know fits me, which is this dress. It is really beautiful. Look at it. The color is gorgeous. Anyway, I tried this on because I was super excited about it and it does fit me. As I told you, they have things that are a little bit smaller if you check their size chart, even if they only go down to a size small. And I probably should have picked more of those things but I wanted to pick a selection that I knew you guys would like. What do you guys think? I think it's very elegant, very beautiful. My favorite thing about it is the top part because it has this deep V neck but it has a little mesh thing in here that stops it from being way too deep and showing way too much while giving you the look that it's deep. So that illusion is something I really really like. The sleeves are also super beautiful and the best thing about it which I said it was because of the size chart. I don't remember if the size chart was different. I just knew that this one would look good because it came with this thing to adjust it here. So it just fits me perfectly because you can make it as big or as small as you want to. I think that just like with everything else from this brand, the quality is really good. But this time the sleeves are not as soft as the mesh in the previous dress. While I'm not having any problem and it's not itchy at all, it's a little bit more stiff than the previous one, so I just wanted to let you know. I'm not sure if you could see it before, but it has a zipper on the side, so it's very easy to put on and take it off. If you've noticed, that's something really important for me because I often struggle with that. I am in between 5'2 and 5'3, so I am very small. That's 158 for you guys in Europe. And it's floor length for me. It's completely floor length. I wouldn't be able to wear it without high heels. So I'm just letting you know because the bottom part has a nice trim that you might not be able to alter if you're too short for it. Or rather, the dress is too long for you. It's not a problem for me because I love wearing high heels, but I was just letting you know in case you're a sortie like me. The next thing I'm gonna show you is probably my favorite of this haul because I know it's the one that I'm gonna use the most. It is this coat 
I fell in love with it when I saw it. And I have it here. I'm completely obsessed with this. It, it's so fur, by the way. Let's put this on so you can see how it looks like on me, even though it's quite hot right now. And I'm gonna regret this. Look how beautiful this is. My favorite thing about it, of course, apart from the furry neck, is the waistcut. The design is perfect. It gives you that cute hourglass figure. It's really tight around the waist. It's built like that. Even if I remove this, and you know, it's a little bit big. I love the fit, by the way. This is a size small, but since it's a coat and it's supposed to be on top of clothes, I think it's the perfect size for me because I can move my arms freely, which is something really important and something that sometimes when you buy affordable, cheap <laughs> coats, you really struggle with that. I don't have any problem with it. This is super comfortable to wear, to move around with it. It's just perfect. Have you noticed that I'm in love with this coat? <laughs> anyway, what I was telling you is that it's already cut like that, fitted around the waist, and it has a lot of fabric at the bottom part. So it has this kind of doll-like cut that I really, really like. It's sometimes very difficult to find when you go to regular stores, but since most of their designs are kind of retro, vintage inspired, I think that's why it looks like that and I am super happy with it. I wasn't so sure how it was gonna fit because sometimes with coats it's a little bit difficult to tell online but when I put this on I realized it was way better than I was expecting and I'm really really happy. I know it might not look like that right now because I'm sweating, it's really hot and I really want to take it off but I'm in love with this coat, it's so beautiful. I'm gonna tie this again. By the way, it's lined with this soft Satin material makes it super nice. I could comfortably wear something a little bit thick on the ends up and it would still fit me nicely. So I have absolutely no complaints about this one. I think it's perfect. I can't remember how much it was, but I know this store is quite affordable compared to most other alternative goth places. The fur part, by the way, is removable. So it comes with these buttons here. This one is quite thick. Okay. Not if you live in Alaska, but for me in Spain this would be a winter coat and it would be perfect. Not like sometimes when you get coats online and they're quite thin, so they're more like for spring or autumn, but you cannot really wear them during winter. This one is a winter coat for me in Spain. So it would be better if it had like a button here and I could close the neck a little bit. I can do this myself and put one here on the inside. That would make it perfect, but even without that, it's a 10 out of 10. I'm super happy with it and if you guys like this, I strongly recommend it. As much as I like it, it was such a relief to take it off. <laughs> anyway, this is the last thing for today. And I have it here. If you know me, you know I'm a sucker for slip dresses. I collect them. I've been doing this for 20 years. Since I was gifted one as a kid, just to dress up and play around at home. I fell in love with it. I still keep it to this day. And my mom told me this one looked really similar to it. Which I'm gonna have to disagree. I think they're completely different, but yeah, I think it's very, very beautiful as well. So let's put this on. This is what it looks like on me. I feel so happy to not be wearing a coat anymore. And unfortunately, I think this is the first time where I think the fit is really an issue and it doesn't look so good. You can probably tell on my side it's way too big. By the way, before I forget, it closes with a zipper in here to make it easier to put it on. I didn't need it, of course, because it's so big on me, but in case you possibly need it, it's there. And the top part is a little bit stretchy because of the lace parts, but the satin part is not, just letting you know. And I think it's a little bit too long for my taste. I wish it was a little bit shorter, but anyway, since it's so big, I cannot really judge because I know if this was a little bit smaller, it would look... A little shorter as well but size problems aside I'm quite sad that it doesn't fit me perfectly because it's so beautiful one of my favorite things is that the fabric is this kind of deep red but it's not burgundy it's like actual deep red that I love it's really difficult to find things like that because it's usually either bright red that I consider so so ugly that almost looks orange in some lights or burgundy which I also like but I prefer this kind of red so I'm kind of upset that it doesn't fit me because I really love wearing slip dresses as actual dresses with lots of jewelry and you know accessories and all that but yeah as actual dresses it's one of my favorite things it's probably 
the thing I wear the most when I actually go out. I think they're very comfortable. And if you combine them with a new block boots or really chunky platforms, it kills that sexy vibe and makes it a great look. So now that I'm done trying on things, let's see what we think about everything we tried on today. Once more, because this is not the first time I get things from them, I'm really happy with the quality. I'm surprised given the price. None of these things feel cheap, although they're quite affordable compared to other alternatives. They unfortunately run super big. Even for a size small, I would say this dress, for example, is more like a size medium in any other mall store. So even if they only go down to a size small, their size small runs quite big, in my opinion. Other than that, shipping was really fast. Again, this is only for the European Union, but I didn't have to pay taxes when I got my package. So I believe they sent everything with taxes paid for in advance. This is a huge problem for us in the European Union, but if you live somewhere else, you will have to check because I can't tell you if you will have to pay taxes or not. Anyway, I'm super happy with it. Only said that this one doesn't really fit me, but everything else was wearable and the quality again was super, super good. Thank you so much to Bellfog for sending me these things and don't forget to use my discount code BFEFESMATINIA20 to get 20% off if you decide to get anything from their store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Bye!